Hey guys, Sean Savage here from Streaker Marine. We're in one of our favourite boats today, it's the Yellowfin 580 Folding Hardtop. Yellowfin have made just a small running change in 2022 to make your boating just that little bit easier when you get home and you need to put the boat in the garage. It's a brand new hardtop, folds down as a one person job, super easy to use. So one of our favourite hulls, it just got that little bit better. All right, guys, here we are inside the Yellowfin 580 folding hardtop. We'll have a bit of a walk around. Um, one thing they did do well in these that I've always liked is the entry into the cabin. So if you're using the cabin a lot or you've got young kids that are sort of in and out of there, it's not a pokey cabin. And there's plenty of uh, plenty of space to get in. And you don't really have to duck your head because it's so open. So when we go inside here, very easy, great shelving, um, great access to your, the back of your dash to get into your transducers and hydraulic steering, etc. You can see how neat it is in there and well organized. Um, close up guy in here. Massive storage compartments on both sides, port and starboard. Natural light and an inspection hatch uh, to get to the anchor or the bow of the boat. While we're sitting here, you got your aluminum seat boxes with storage. And the other thing they've done is they've put two little Steps on the back, so when we turn the seats around and we're fishing, we've got somewhere to put our feet. Aluminium side pockets, you can see we've got the fenders and a bit of gear in there. A fully welded aluminium floor, checker plate floor, welded the whole way across. And then we have our holes there, those couple of holes. That's for our self-draining floor. So any water that's on the, uh, on the floor here will uh, Gravity feed down to the back, go through those holes, straight out the transom, which means you're not gonna hold any water inside the boat. And the good thing about these things is they're so buoyant because the boat's actually got width. So you can see here, the boat's really on top of the water, not in the water. And by doing that, our self-draining floor um, outlets on the transom are actually out of the water. So the water will actually drain out and not drain back in. Um, Stability wise, people talk about stability in these things. My toes are over the edge, I'm leaning right over. Let's have a look at how deep the boat's gone. Absolutely nothing. So um, we'll go up to the hard top here. It's got a handrail, our rocket launcher. They've made a really good spray deflector here as well. So you can see on this side that if it is rough and you're getting spray over the hard top there, like just the, the boat wash sort of stuff that's gonna stop it from filtering into the guy that's hanging onto this handle or anyone that's sitting in that rear lounge there. I suppose this gives us a really good indication of room at the back. For a 5.8 meter boat, there's heaps of fishing room and an ample cabin and a fantastic dash where we can fit as big of electronics that we like. So we've got um, currently a nine inch low rants, a couple of Yamaha gauges, Fusion stereo, Volvo trim tabs, custom switch panel, Anchor winch, VHF, drink holders, and a little glove box over there. I've got my phone and some gear in at the moment. Um, we currently have front and side clears on this one as well. So there are three piece section, two sides and a front clear. The front clear has two opening portals to, um, to get some uh, natural you know, fresh air and everything in there. And um, if it is rough, you can just have one of those portholes open so the driver can see a little bit better. Um, so let's let's fire this thing up. So we'll turn the key. Anchor winch is here. So right now it has its own little fuse on there. So right now it's doing nothing. I turn this on, up, and this stress-free anchor winch is giving me no stress. So it's a drum winch. It's got a uh, roller, a, a, a bowsprit designed for a Sarka anchor. You can see now we're onto the chain. It's 10 meters of chain, and it has a chain sock. We'll watch through here. So here's our Sarka number two, counterweighted, so it came upside down. I just go nice and slow, and it'll fall its right way. Got some seaweed on there. And now what we'll do is we'll turn this blue switch. So now it's a, got no power again, so we can't accidentally knock it um, when we're traveling and we're not going to draw any power. 
So now our motor's running. Let's go to the back and hear how quiet that thing is. Yamaha are just amazing products. Um, hydraulic steering, but these four strokes, Japanese technology, it's the right motor for the boat and it works amazingly well. Um, we've got our transom door at the back here. So that this lifts open. And then you've got a big dive ladder that goes into the water. Easy to put it back up. And it's a three quarter rear lounge. So it gives us ample room, because the boat's wide again, it gives us ample room on the rear lounge. But we've got a great walkthrough section here so we can comfortably have the dive ladder down, transom door down, and it's not affecting traffic throughout the boat. And it's not um, affecting the rear lounge, which is awesome. We've got grab handles everywhere. Big one on the passenger side there. The whole hard top's a grab handle. We've got grab handles on the side of the bait board so when you're getting back in the boat, um, let's, let's get this thing going, eh? So, anchors up, motors down. We'll, uh, I don't have a fuel flow meter on me at the moment, um, but I've got my speed and my RPM. So right now we're doing 2,000 RPM. We'll bring it down to about 1,500 at uh, 10 kilometers an hour. Both sitting flat. We'll be very efficient at this. Our trim's just on sort of one to two bars before we get planing. Um, so we'll get up and get going. So we're sitting on 4,200 RPM at about 42 kilometers an hour. We'll go to the back and have a look. Screen. The visibility is very good. Next rev range, 5,000, 50, 53. So our, our speed's slightly greater than our revs, which is what we always like to see. Might just turn it in at this speed, see what happens. The boat turns level. It doesn't, um, it doesn't lean over when it turns, so it's very flat. So it's very comfortable for everybody inside the boat. It's, it's very predictable for the driver. Um, but you know, you can be turning quite hard and the boat just turns really nice. It doesn't feel like it's trying to lean over or turn in and such. We'll drop the hammer. 6,100, five bars of trim, 65 kilometers an hour. She's loving it. Bring it back down. We'll go down to about maybe 3,700 RPM. It's be a nice cruising pace. 4,000 maybe in that ballpark. Yeah, here we go, 4,500, that seems pretty good. 46 kilometers an hour. Down the back. And I think that's that. So uh, I hope that helps. If you have any questions on the Yellowfin range, please let us know via our comments or through our website. We'd love to help, and uh, if you want to see any other videos of anything specific, please let us know, and we'll do our best to make them happen. Thank you.